West Deep Renaissance Scholarly Chuck Chair Play for the Southern Countryside. The engines were going to help Duncan, Thomas, and James with an important job at the Incline Railway. The engines enjoy working at the Incline Railway. Choo choo, said James. Choo choo, said Scholarly. Choo choo, said Renee. Choo choo, said Thomas. They like the clear way the world slid cars roll down the incline, pulling the empty slate cars up because they are always careful. True to Duncan does a like working at the incline railway. He is always impatient to get back to the junction. This makes him careless. And what gets him into a lot of trouble. Well, he hoped Duncan would stay out of trouble today. But he was already in too much in a hurry. I'm a plain speaking engine, quick Duncan. To collect your slate cars and be quick about it. And off he steam. Bossy boots, seven years. Yeah, Sir Thomas. Pushy puffers, a scholar. Yeah, Sir Thomas. They didn't like Duncan telling them what to do. They just wanted to get to the bustle or the junction, Westy said. Now oh, come on, James, Scarlett, Renee, and Thomas, we got work to do. Duncan wanted everyone to work faster. Choo choo, said James. You're supposed to be helping, you're supposed to be helping me, well, said Duncan, but you're as well as nails. Well, proper engines, Westy have cross Yeah, yeah said Thomas, we follow the rules. They can't send more than slow four slate like cars, said Renee. Yeah, said James. You look faster, said Duncan, patiently. Later that day, Duncan was working at the incline. I'll show you how fast the really is for engine can work. Duncan called it. He hit the incline, switch the car to another. And then another. Soon, Duncan had his four slate cars. Nothing to it, he boasted to Westy and Thomas. Those slate cars will pay you back to Westy. Slate cars are ready to be. I can handle these slate cars, Westy. The four little engines could see that Duncan was not going to listen. Two two to Thomas, they carefully trashed away from the incline with their slate cars. Duncan was so impatient, he became even more careless. I'm sure that smelly diesel and those lazy steamers, he said to his driver. Careful, called his driver. They're asking for trouble. And he got Duncan to know his chain was tangled in the coupling of the slate cars in front of him. Suddenly he was being pulled up the track, act by the slate car, bouncing boy. He cried, It got me. Duncan's driver, Chuck Clear. Rusty was trying to see Duncan pulled up at the incline. I tried to warn him, said Rusty. He never listens. He never listens, said the diesel's driver, said. The chain point Duncan slate cars are not going to hold away. It's only snapped. Duncan, put me down the incline. Help! He yelled. Glug, glug, glug. He said, Glug, oh my boy. Duncan felt very foolish and very wet. Once the top of had arrived, he spoke, he spoke to Duncan. You have not you been a responsible engine. He said, your impatience had caused confusion and delay, and you owe these engines an apology. Sorry, Duncan said to Westy Winners, Thomas, James, and Scarlett, once you have been repaired. So top of half it, you will work the inclined to be patient and careful. Yes, sir, said Duncan.